the president of the Nigerian Bar Association has called for urgent fundamental reforms of the administration and governance of the judiciary. Lumi Diapata was reacting to a leaked letter written by 14 justices of the Apex Court, led by the second most senior justice, Kayode Aluwala, addressed to the Chief Justice of Nigeria, Ibrahim Mohammed, over their poor working conditions. Kemi Faladeyemo reports on this. The aggrieved Supreme Court justices also accused the CJN of abandoning his responsibilities and diverting funds meant for the running of the Apex Court. They complained about their accommodation, vehicles, supply of diesel, internet services to their official residences, training and epileptic electricity supply to the court. But the CJN, Justice Muhammad, responded through his media aid that the current challenges at the Supreme Court were a reflection of the prevalent economic realities in the country. He also chided his colleagues for going public with their complaints, saying they ought to be seen and not heard. If the Chief Justice of the Federation gave the required attention early enough, we will not be reading about this on the pages of newspapers. So I think I throw back to the table of the CJN. One of their concerns is that the CJN is not accessible. They've been calling for meetings and meetings, you know, and things like that, you know, and they even brought in the issue of moral rectitude, and this should not be the case. The body of benches has also set up a seven-member committee to intervene in the issue. Chairman of the body of practitioners of the highest distinction in the legal profession, Wale Ola Nikweku, a senior advocate of Nigeria, says the team will be headed by a former CJN, Mahmoud Mohammed. And for the NBA president, Olumide Akwata, while the fight for increased budgetary allocations for the judiciary continues, it is particularly important that the judiciary mustn't only be, but should be seen as being above board and transparent in the management and allocation of the resources currently available to it. And at this stage, if I tell you some of the experiences I have seen, you will wait for this country. So something has to be done to address what looks like the inability of institutions or mechanisms to checkmate the powers of heads of court. I am not saying that the heads of courts should not be given powers to control the courts. I am saying there must be some form of checks because some of the judges and justices are complaining in silence. They cannot speak. For now, many are clamoring that members of the bench remain untainted and that the respect they exude is preserved. Kemi Foladi Yemo, TVC News, Lagos.